Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Adventure Monday. We're playing The Walking Dead and we are starting now on Season 2. And our scenario is Traffic Jam. After the devastating destruction of the CDC, the survivors make their way down the highway looking for a safe place to take refuge. Their trip is cut short by a massive car pile up on the road. Taking a short break from their drive, they search the cars for supplies unaware of the massive horde of walkers headed their way. Now, uh, each survivor had to start on a different space on tile A or C. I put them all on A. Uh, we had to place one walker in each space on tile C. So there we go. We have every space full of walkers. And those are our decks. And we had to put the roamer token. Now, the roamer token is up there. And, uh, and place five of each resource on the group sheet. So there's five of each resource. So, Season 2 offers some, a few new mechanics, a stealth mechanic. And basically what it is, is that our stealth rules are this. Tiles B and D are considered woods. That's these two tiles. While on a woods tile, a survivor cannot become hidden, but the survivor is ignored by walkers not on a woods tile. Each time a walker is removed from the map due to the roamer token, place it on the scenario sheet. Okay, so the rumor token is up there, and what that means is the stealth. It says if uh, walkers will move towards the rumor token. So if they can't see the heroes, due to our special rules, stealth cannot become hidden, but the survivor ignore, is ignored by walkers, not on a woods tile. Okay? So, <clears throat> I think we'll do that. And uh, what that means is they'll go towards the rumor token if they can't see any heroes over here now uh, and then what what that means after that is <clears throat> if they are on when they activate walkers already in space with a roamer token will not move if at the start of the walker activation a walker is in a space on the edge of the map and the roamer token is in his or her space that walker is removed from play and returned to the reserve <laughs> So if they go to the roamer token and they get in that space and they don't move, and then at the start of their activation, they're, they're just removed, they're put back in the reserve. So what we have to do, each hidden survivor may choose to activate one walker on his or her tile. Okay? If at least one survivor is within range one of a walker, resolve group tension. Not good. If there are at least five walkers on the scenario sheet, return them to the reserve and advance the objective. So we got to get the roamers to go this way. <coughs> Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've got Rick's cards here, and I have Keep Still and Through the Thicket. Let's see, each walk immediately activates, treating each hidden survivor as visible. Hmm. Well, okay, let's see here. Erase Threat by One. E. That's not good. That's not good at all. Though, boy, those are two terrible cards. So I'm going to have to neglect. I will have to raise the threat by one. One, two, three, four. For each person. So we'll neglect that one. And we're going to do keep still. During activation, a survivor may discard one trust to choose one survivor in his or tile to become hidden. Okay. Now... <sighs> Remember, if they're in the woods, tile, they're not, they cannot become hidden. So we're probably not going to do that, <coughs> which is weird. I don't know how you can't become hidden if you're not in the woods. However, um, I think what we can do is we can get each person to move two spaces, get in the woods, and um, yeah. Okay, so Rick is going to play, he's going to comply. Uh, we're going to play Protector. And we're going to comply with that, so... Protector Rick. We're going to comply. And, and I'm just going to move him two spaces. 
we're gonna go one, two, and let's see here. Um, we'll assist. How about that? That's what we'll do. We're gonna assist. So we get three dice. Okay, well, I gain a focus. I have to exert one, and I'll get rid of Born Leader here. Okay, I'll gain a focus. And I got one in success, and it says choose, gain one trust. Choose one other survivor to gain one focus, and you gain one trust. You arrange one to discard one stress and gain one trust. Well, nobody has any stress, so I think I'll gain a trust. I'm going to gain two trust, actually, and I'm going to give... Dale here a focus and it's Dale's turn actually and he's gonna go one two and he's complying with yellow gain one action die for this action for each survivor within one range uh, let's see here I can do a search draw one search card from your building Okay, well, I think I'll do that. Right, two die. Alright, well, I gain a focus. I could turn that focus to a success, but I have to exert one. Okay. And so I, I did gain a success. I can do basically two search cards. So we have a flashlight. Walker ambush. Place one walker in your space and then discard this card. That is horrid. Okay. Alright. Um, eesh. It's not very good. We have Shane. He's going to move one, two. <clears throat> Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to start there. I should have to start there in the first place. And let's see, he could provide her. Search your building search deck for one card and shuffle the rest. Huh. Place the chosen card on top. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get two die. you got to be kidding me. That's horde. All right, so I have to exert... I do get to search the deck for one card. And I'll take first aid kit. Alright. And then he's moving one, two. And then we have Daryl. <coughs> who defeat one enemy within range three. Well, I don't have line of sight, so I could move. Cancel, defeat one enemy in your space. Okay. All right, I will. I'll go one, two. I do have one enemy in range three. I can defeat him, so he gets taken out. Um, he can discard one trust to choose one survivor in his or her tile to become hidden. All right, he's going to do that. So, uh, we have completed that, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, um, unfortunately, Darryl, um, Dale's going to take a hit. Um, we have to roll the dice here. He has three. Okay, he got two successes and one exertion. So, let's see, he can cancel, defeat one enemy in your space. See, that's not going to be, that's going to be a problem. So, that's actually a problem. So, alright. So now we're going to have to do the walker activation. <clears throat> well, before we do that, though, um, 
we have done this. So we don't have to worry about that. We did that. So let's activate each walker. <sighs> okay, so they're going towards the roamer token. So basically, it, they're all just moving forward one space. Okay, and then, uh, of course, Daryl, I mean Dale, gets hit again. So that's a problem there. Okay, and then, um, at least one survivor is within range one. Of, we have to resolve group tension. Okay, so we have to do that, and we can't because I got rid of that trust. So, uh, we have to go morale down by one. <clears throat> so morale is down with one. Okay. So, there's that. And then, I think that's about it. So, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. We, we can't do anything else. Now we have to put some walkers on the, on the map. So, let's go ahead. And we're going to have, well, one up here. We move this down. And we have another one with, with Dale. Okay. Then we have another one here. And the another one is going to be here. Okay. All right. So we put some there. I was in trouble. Okay. So there's that. So let's go ahead and Rick's going to draw a couple cards. Let's see what we get here. We get. Okay, well, I don't have any reds. Hmm. Shit. Okay, raise threat by... See, this is not going to go good because now I have to... Either way, if I neglect, I have to raise threat by one and place the roamer token. So... I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to neglect this. So we have to raise the threat by one, and we have to put the Romer token in a random space, and it's going to go all the way down here. Okay, I went far. Okay, um, and then we'll do that. Okay, so it's Rick's turn. Um... He's going to play handgun training, so we'll comply. He has a walker in front of him, so I don't know. And Daryl had to suffer stress because he got that stupid gas mask walker in his space. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, he's going to stay there. I'm going to perform one resource, as far as my maneuvers, I'm going to perform one resource maneuver. And I'm going to spend one ammunition, raise the threat by one. And we're going to kill this walker here. <clears throat> and then, uh, we're going to hide. No, I'm not sorry, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to assist... And we're going to gain one trust. Okay. And we're going to roll the die. And we only get to roll one. <clears throat> okay, well, we got a success. Choose one other survivor to gain one focus, and you gain a trust. Choose one other survivor within range when discard one set stress. Okay, Dale is in range one, so he can discard one stress, and he can gain <clears throat> a trust. Speaking of Dale, it's his turn, and we're going to have to get out of that uh, space. 
Um, I'm going to, if I stay there though, ooh, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to move Dale. <clears throat> No, I can't move Dale. Because um, if I move out with that walker right there, I'm going to take a wound. So what I'm going to do is he's going to stay there. And I'm going to have to raise the threat by one. And I'm going to have to spend another ammo and kill that gas mask walker. <clears throat> and then um, I think I may attack. Nah, he's not going to be able to attack. I can't do anything else. Uh, I can't risk getting a wound. So, he's done. Okay. So, Shane's turn. And with Shane, I think what I'm going to do is Shane is going to move one, two. He's going to move into there. Um, Can he heal? Who can he? Can he heal somebody? Discard for the heal. No, he can only heal himself. Okay, he'll discard. No, he did his maneuver. Okay, so what he's gonna do is, um, he can finish searching. He can try to search. So let's go ahead and try that. He'll search, and then he's gonna do a. Uh, interact which is one die for him and he just gains a focus token so he gets one card and it's clutter hazard okay shuffle suffer one stress and raise threat by one god dang it so threats already up by one and we have to suffer stress okay Okay, and then Daryl's turn, and Daryl is actually uh, going to move here, in there, and he's going to try the precise shot. He's going to get three dice to do it. And he's actually complying, so it's fine. Okay, we have to exert one. He's going to gain one focus. Oh, I have to start healing. But he is going to kill that walker in his space. So that walker is dead. <laughs> okay, so that walker is dead. Now, uh, any survivor becomes hidden, he or she may move the roamer token in one space. Nobody was able to become hidden. So we're going to have to resolve group tension. And I can't do it, so morale is going to have to go down one more. Okay, so there's that. Alright, each hidden survivor may choose to activate one walker on his or her tile. If at least one survivor was in resolve group tension, nope. Okay, so we did that. So now we're doing the walker activation, and here's the roamer. They're going to go towards the roamer. So he's going to go here. This one's going to go here. This one's here. 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 And here. <coughs> Okay, and that's I think where we're at. And now we have to to put some new zombies on the board. And let's hope we get lucky because we have two allies that have two exertions. So we got problems. Um. Okay. So we got one down here. The gas mask is going to be right there. Okay. Oh, next one. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. And the last one. Okay, we kind of we kind of did get lucky. Okay. So there's that. So now uh, we did that. It's all good. Let's have Rick draw a card. And let's draw two cards and see what we get. Okay. Each walker mainly activates treating each hidden survivor as visible. Okay, but see, that's, that's actually pretty good. So I think I'm going to neglect that one because um, 
We're not hidden anymore. We were hidden that first round, but we weren't hidden this round. So, um, and I do want him to activate. That would actually help me out. Each visible survivor suffers one stress, and each hidden survivor. Okay, we're not hidden. Each visible. Well, I don't. I don't think we're considered visible. But I think hidden. See, okay, yeah, or become visible. Okay, so I think what's going to happen is. Since we're not hidden, each vi everybody's visible, so everybody's going to have to suffer one stress. So Rick, Dale, Shane, and Daryl. Now, okay, so what we want to do is after a survivor performs assist action, the survivor may choose one other survivor in his tile to become hidden. Then each hidden survivor on that gains one trust. I, th I think we can do that. Now we're going to neglect this, which is going to make... Each walker immediately activates, treating each hidden survivor as visible. We're not hidden. The world of woods is hidden. So this is going to move one. Okay, we get to put that one on the sheet. This one's going to move one. We get to put that one on the sheet. This one moves one, one. This one moves one. We put that one on the sheet. There, 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 and there. So we're two awake. We need, we need, five, we need two more to get to this roamer space. Well, actually, what's going to happen is, is we have to wait for them to activate. Because it, it says, walkers already in space but will not move. If at the start of the walker activation, a walker is in space on the edge of mountain road, the walkers are moved from play and return to the reserve. So, <clears throat> not quite yet. Okay, so it's Rick's turn. All right. Um... Okay, Rick will comply. He's going to play handgun training. It's a yellow, so he can comply with it. But I think what I want him to do, he's all right, so let me see if he can assist. Okay, I actually am going to assist with him. So I'm going to gain one trust. I'm at my max trust, so I can't gain anymore. So well, let me see. Uh, where's the thing I want to get rid of stress? Hide. Okay, I'm going to reduce threat. Well, by one. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him into here. And then he's going to try to... Um, he's going to assist. Now, I would normally gain the trust. I do have a stress. Okay, I have to roll a stress die. And lucky it came blank, but I didn't get anything, so I have to exert. Dang it. So I don't get any benefits of the other thing. Okay, so it's Dale's turn. Dale's not moving. Dale is actually going to uh, uh, do a resource action. And I'm going to use some food, and I'm going to heal too. So that's what Dale's going to do. All right, and um, I think I might have him assist as well. So I think I'll have him gain a trust. He hits two. He has a stress. Okay, well, let's see. Two focus. I don't have any focus, so pretty bad. So I gained some focus tokens. I didn't do that, and now I have to, um, dang it, raise the threat by one. Okay, well, that's Dale's turn. Okay, now it's Shane's turn, and I think actually Shane, um, he's going to hide, right? Oh, and Rick... That's right, Rick. I got rid of this, a trust, and I choose chose one survivor to become hidden, and I had um, Shane become hidden. He's hidden for this this turn, so that's fine. Okay, now Shane. What I think I'm gonna do with Shane is um, he's gonna reduce threat by one, and then if there's no enemies in your space, discard one stress, and that's what he's gonna do. 
Okay. And then uh, he's going to he's going to search. Actually, so he's going to search. He only gets one die. He has a st one stress die. And he was successful. So we're going to search this. Now he automatically gets that, but we also do another check march, which choose one of those five when we discard one. Str uh, no, wait a minute. Gain one resource of your choice. I think we'll gain another ammo. Okay. And so he finds bottled water. During your activation, you may discard this card to lose one stress. Well, and this is my still my activation, so I will do that. Okay, and now it's Daryl, and Daryl will use food. And he will heal. So he's healed. And then um, I think he's going to do the... Uh, um, assist as well. So he will gain a trust. He has a stress. He, uh, he gets two die. Okay. Well, he it has to exert one, but he was successful. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. And so what he's able to do is um, okay. He'll have. Rick get rid of the stress and gain that other trust back. <clears throat> and of course, exert one or the controlling survivor suffers one stress. The controlling. Who the hell that is? So I guess he has to exert one. Okay. Okay, so now we were able to do this after. After a survivor performs assist action, a survivor may choose one other survivor on his or her tile to become hidden. Then each hidden survivor will entrust. Okay, um. He made Shane gain the trust. So we were actually able to do that. So we don't have to worry about that. Now let's go ahead and activate our walkers. Now these activated. So we put three there. There's one there. All these there. Okay. And we only have one threat. And that is... Oh, that was pretty close to us. And that's it. So we're doing pretty good. I think we're going to move our guys. Um, we're going to come down this way, actually, and search this deck. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. Um, it seems like a good idea. So let's rip, draw some cards. Let's see what happens in our events. Okay. Lead the way. Each survivor who's outside... Okay, we're not outside. Must discard. Or she cannot. For okay, we're gonna neglect that because none of us are outside. We're all in that little barn. After survivor was this marriage, she's one of her time. Then okay, that's actually something we can do. So we'll do that. Rick will play coordinated tactics. Huh. Choose another survivor with a range two to gain one year survivor tokens. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that actually. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna have let's have Dale gain one of my survivor tokens. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna roll, and it's a uh, not one of those. 
I do I don't have any stress all right so I can actually okay actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin that focus I have and turn that into success so we're gonna gain a couple successes so I, what I can do is I can choose one of the survivor within range two to immediately perform a maneuver. Okay, and I want to have Daryl immediately perform a maneuver and eat. And he's going to give up a food to eat. And then I can have choose one other survivor within range two to immediately perform an action. Well, you know what? I don't want to do that. I want the... I want the other one to be another maneuver. So what I'm going to have is Shane, we're going to raise a threat up by one. He's going to spend an ammo token, and he's going to kill that stinking zombie right here. Okay. So that's Rick, and then Rick is going to move one, two. Okay. Um, we're going to have Dale. He's going to move two. Uh, let's see. And he's not doing anything. And I think I think I'm gonna keep because he has a stress. Shane will move one two. And let's see here. That's fine. And I think I don't have him. I don't have him do anything either. I have to have somebody do an assist action, so I don't have to do group tension. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Dale is going to do an assist action. Okay, he has no stress, so that's fine. He's going to gain a trust. Okay. We got one focus and one success. To gain one focus and you gain one trust. Well... I'm going to have Dale discard one stress. And he's going to... Actually, I'm going to have Dale... Well, no, I can't do that. I have to do it in one. Dale's going to have to discard one stress. He's going to gain a trust. Okay, I think that's it. We've done this now. Uh, okay, we're going to choose Dale to become... Uh, Shane, uh, Dale to become hidden. And everybody... On his tile, the active survivor's tile gains one trust. That way, Daryl gets a trust. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to move Daryl to, and I don't think he's going to do anything. So, we did that. Um, we were successful to do that. Um, now, the walkers are going to activate. These guys are going off. Boom. So, they're done. We've completed. Are five. These are going to move. These are going to move. These are going to move. Now we are done. We're going to advance the objective. When you gain this objective, place one stranger in a random wood space. After you defeat a walker, place it on this card. If the stranger is defeated, the survivors lose. Okay, a survivor in a space with the stranger may spend one focus and one trust to move the stranger to the scenario sheet. If there's at least one walker on on objective A, discard that walker, objective A, and the stranger to advance the objective. All, right. All hidden survivors will become visible. Okay, we're trying to protect Sophia. Okay, so that's fine. We've done that. We're going to put a stranger, but first let's put the walker. We did have a threat of one, so let's put the walker on the map. Okay, we have a walker all the way down here. So we're going to have to randomly place the stranger on a wood space. So I guess let me go through this till I find a wood space. That's not a wood space. That's not a wood space. That's not a wood space. <laughs> That's not a wood space. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we go. We have a wood space. Okay, so we have a stranger. It's going to be Sophia. It's going to go up there. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go draw a card see which two we get uh, each survivor in space with no other survivors 
Okay, we're going to neglect that one, so we don't have to worry about that. I perform an action in our space with another that may discard one trust to roll one additional action die during that action. Okay, that's fine. We'll try that one. Rick will comply. He'll play coordinated tactics. Choosing a survivor to gain one of your survivor tokens. Okay. Um, I kind of like that one, so we're going to do that. Um, choose one other survivor within range to, to gain one of your survivor tokens. We're going to let Shane gain one of our survivor tokens. And then we're going to perform... I have no stress, so... We're going to try to do this. Okay, it's a focus, so I don't I don't get successful on anything on that, which is kind of what I wanted to be, but okay. And then we're going to move Rick. One, two. Okay, I'm moving Dale because he has the most trust and focus. I'm moving Dale two spaces up this way. One, two, because we have to do something with that survivor. And then I think... He has no stress. Uh, I can assist. Okay, I, th I think I will assist. <clears throat> hmm. Actually, I could choose scatter. Choose one other survivor to discard one trust and move one space ignoring enemies. Okay, I could do that. Okay, I, I'm going to have Daryl do that. And then I'm going to... Well, all right. Well, hey, you know, I could have three successes if I choose to. Choose one within range two to gain one trust. Okay. Choose one other. Choose one survivor to move one space. Okay. I think we'll spin a focus, and then we're going to gain a focus. I want to have um, Daryl actually move two spaces. Okay. And then that's it for him. Uh, space when this I made this card. Okay, yeah, I could I could roll an additional action die with him to do that. So let's let's do that. Alright, so we completed that. And now it's Shane's turn. And I'm gonna do Shane. He's gonna move two spaces. And I think with Shane, um he's gonna search. So we're going to draw one search card from the building. We have objective B. And it's locked right now. So we have to place it face up. So we have to go somewhere over there. Okay. Um, so... Um, All right, and then he gets to do a interact, which is just one die. And then, um, gain one resource of our choice. We're going to gain another ammo token. Okay, Daryl's going to go. All right, so Daryl, what he's going to do is spend one focus and one trust. Okay, so he's going to spend one focus and one trust, and we're going to move Sophia to the sheet. Okay, and then we're going to move Daryl two spaces. One, two. Okay. And that's it for Daryl. And um, I guess to see assist. Uh, he's not going to do anything. So that's the end of that turn. We 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 completed that, so we're good. 
um, the walkers will now activate these two are going off the map these two are moving here these two are there this one is there because we're all in the woods and we didn't have any threat so no new walkers so that's actually a really good turn I just gotta find objective A we found objective B We have to get a walker to the objective A. And that's the thing. So, all right, let's go ahead and do Rick's. Let's draw some cards here. Uh, each walker immediately activates, treating each hidden survivor as visible. Uh, that's not good. I don't think I want to. Neglect. Each survivor in space with no other must discard one focus or raise threat by one. Okay, they, he can. Do a focus. We have to raise a threat by one. We'll, we'll neglect that one. So keep still is what we're going to do. During activation, the survivor may discard one trust to choose one hidden survivor on his tile to become hidden. And Rick will play Watchful Eye, I guess. Move one walker in your... No, that's not... We'll just play that. Alright. So... <clears throat> we're going to move... Watchful Eye. We're going to play that. And I think what I want to do... We know Objective B is there. We can actually stay there. And there's no point in really doing anything with Rick. So that's fine. And I think there's no point... I think Daryl... We need to get these walkers to move because we got to get a walker on objective A. We know objective A is not in there, so it's got to be either here or here. So I'm going to move Dale, one, two. And I think that's it with him. And I'm going to move Daryl, one, two. Whoa. Of course, Dale would have discarded a trust. And Daryl's going to be hidden. One, two. So we've done that. And so I think that's it. Um, I think that's fine. These guys are going off the map. They are no... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says uh, walkers are will not move. Okay. However, these guys see them. So they will now move here. Okay. And then we have to threat... And we have a zombie up at the top. And now threat is down one. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so it's going to be... Uh, let's go ahead and draw two more cards. Let's see what we get. Uh, okay, I think we'll neglect this one. He's going to discard a focus, and then we have to raise a threat by one. So we neglect that one. And we'll do lead the way. After a survivor performs an assist action, he or she may gain a focus or a trust. I think we can do that. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, Rick... It's not going to do anything. So we're done. We're done with Rick. He complies, played, and watchful eye. Okay, he he played that. No, he played. I forgot to draw a card for him. He's going to play watchful eye again. So there's that. Dale is going to move two. Okay. Any uh. He's gonna search. So we're gonna look at the get the top card. We have flare. Uh, 
And I'm actually going to use this now. During choose an adjacent space, move all walkers from each space adjacent to the chosen space into the chosen space and discard that card. And I think I'm going to move this one there. So we're going to use the flare. And let's see now his search uh, is interact, and he gets three. He has no stress. Okay, well, he's successful one. He gains one focus, and he has to exert. Okay. And uh, he searches, finds empty box. Will suffer one stress, then discard this card. Okay. All right. Okay, and then... I think with Daryl, because that zombie's not going to be able to reach us his next turn. So what I think I am going to do, I think I am going to move Daryl here. And he's going to search as well. And he finds bottled water. And he can go ahead and discard it to lose one stress. And now he will... Uh, It's one die. Okay, that was a success. So we can search this, and this is shovel. Okay, well, he found a shovel. So it's got to be here. Objective A has got to be there. Okay, and that's going to be it. We did not do this, actually. So we're going to have to resolve group tension, and we can do that. We can each spin a trust to do that, so we don't have to lose morale. Okay, and now the walkers will activate. They're moving up here, and then we have the threat, uh, and it is right there. So we have a zombie coming right there. Okay, well now it is the new turn. we got to hurry. All right. All right, I can do either of these. One trust. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this because each survivor in space with no other survivor must discard one trust or suffer one stress. We're all in spaces with others. During that, a survivor may spend one trust to allow one other survivor to move one space. Okay. Rick and Shane again aren't really gonna do anything, but Rick will play protect and serve to comply. Okay. Okay, however, now Dale will spend one truss and move one survivor one space. Okay, that's fine. He's going to do that. So Dale will spend one trust. And he's going to spend, he's not going to move. However, he will do an ammo. And he will shoot this zombie. We raised threat by one and we shot that zombie. <clears throat> and that's it for Dale. Because uh, Shane's not going to do anything. So it's Daryl's turn. So Daryl will move two spaces. He's going to try to search. He finds objective A. Okay. So uh, we have to get a walker on objective A. Which is not that hard. It'll happen the next turn. So, um, and now we have to do a search action. And we gain a focus. Okay, so we we did this. We're good. Let's move our zombies. Um, they're going to go this way. Okay. And let's put a new zombie I have to put one here. Okay, and now we're, we're good to go. So, we're going to get a zombie here on the next turn. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Daryl one space and we're going to get a, a zombie. Okay, so Rick will draw a card. We have two cards. Each survivor must discard one trust. Each survivor must discard one trust or cannot put up. Ah, Jesus. Well, this is, this is terrible. This is... This is going to screw us. I 
Okay. Okay, these are exact same things, so we're going to go with this one. We'll neglect this one. Each survivor must discard one trust. Okay, Rick will discard one. Dale can't. Shane can, and Daryl can't. So they they can't do anything, so they can't move. Okay. Now, however, Rick will, during his activation, he's going to spend a trust, and he's going to let Daryl move one space. Now, remember, it said they can't do a maneuver, a move maneuver this turn. However, that is a different thing from just having a move one space. So, Daryl got to move one. Uh, so that's fine. And then uh, I think that's it for Rick. I don't think Rick's going to do anything else. I don't think I'm going to have Dale do anything else. I don't know. I may try to give him to assist. Man, he's got stress though. Okay, I'm going to have Shane do an assist. And, and, and basically what that means is he's going to gain a trust. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's going to gain a trust. Because he doesn't have any stress. Oh, he has to exert now. God damn it. Okay, well that did not work. Okay, and then Daryl, you know, he can't perform a maneuver. But what he can do is he can do an assist as well. Okay, he has to exert one, but he does get successful. Okay, because we'll spin this focus. Okay, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, with Daryl, I can't move. I did that. That's the end of the turn. So let's go ahead. We were able to do this, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's move them here, them here, them here, and there. Okay, so that's done. So, it says, um, and then we have the <clears throat> check for objectives. Okay. If there's at least one walker on objective A, discard that walker, objective A, and the stranger to advance the objective. Okay, so we discard the walker. We get rid of objective A. We have advanced the objective. We are now on lost again. Each survivor suffers one stress. So, everybody suffers a stress. Let's go ahead and do that. Rick, Dale, Shane, and Daryl. When revealed, place this card face up in adjacent space. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put it right here on an adjacent space. Shut up, dog. All right. A survivor in this space may perform the following action. Interact. Suffer one stress to place one focus on this card, and then discard one stress. Okay, so Rick has a focus. Shane has a focus. We need to get. If there are no survivors on Woods, if there are no, there are four focus. Oh, we got to get. Okay, so we got to get the focus, four focus here, and then get over here. That's what we'll try to do. Each survivor not on a Woods tile reduces morale by one. Okay, well, we'll do that. Okay, so it is uh, Rick's turn. Let's see what we're gonna do. Each survivor who's outside must discard one focus. Uh, 
Each visible survivor suffers one stress, then each hidden survivor is starting to become visible. Uh, well, I don't want to suffer any more stress. Okay, we'll neglect this one. Each survivor who's outside must discard one focus. Okay, Dale can do that, so he's got no problem. Daryl can't, so Daryl can't move again. And then we have this. After a survivor performs, the survivor may choose one of the survivors and his child become hidden. That child gains one trust. Okay. <coughs> so it's Rick's turn. Alright. Um... So Rick is actually going to move here. I'm going to suffer a stress, and I'm going to place one focus on that. Dale can move, and I'm going to figure out what I want to do with Dale. All right. Um, okay. Um, I think Dale's fine where he's at. He's actually not going to do anything. I think I want to do an assist with him. So, he's going to hide. He's going to reduce threat by one, but he's also going to get rid of a stress. Okay? And then he's going to um, do an assist. He's going to gain a trust. I think it's three. One. Okay, that's the dessert. And he gains a focus. It's a focus here. And that's it for him. Okay, Shane. I moved, mixed him up. Shane is going to move here. Shane is going to gain a stress and discard one focus. Okay. And then he is going to. Assist. He's going to gain a trust. And then what he's going to do is he's going to. He's only got one die. Oh, come on, I got to be successful here. Okay, well, we were successful. However, the leader must exert one or suffer one stress. Okay, he's got to exert one. So we're going to go ahead and Rick's going to exert one. However, I was able to. She's one of to gain one focus and you gain one trust. Okay. Rick is going to gain a focus and Shane will gain the trust. Okay. Daryl can't move. So there, that's that. <laughs> However, what Daryl can do is he can shoot one of these zombies. So he will shoot one of the zombies. We're going to raise threat by one. We're gonna get rid of an ammo. God dang it! Gonna get rid of an ammo token. Okay. And <clears throat> I think what he's gonna to try to do is he's gonna to try to assist as well. So he's gonna gain a coordinate. Oh, that's right. We could have done the downwind. So Shane, when he did his assist. He chose Rick to become hidden. And Rick was going to gain a trust because of that. So we, we completed that. Okay, Daryl has to exert. And we have to raise the threat up again. Okay. Alright, so now it's the end of the turn. We've done that. We have to move our walkers. So we're going to move them here, here, here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. Uh, now we have to place new walkers. We have to place two. We have one up at the top, which is good. And one next to it, which is good as well. And then each survivor not on a woods tower reduces morale by one. So we got to re reduce morale by two. <clears throat> each survivor on a woods tower places one random walker in a space. <clears throat> Okay, so there we go. Put one there. Oops, I'm sorry. There. And 
<clears throat> right next to Dale. Okay. If no survivors on a woods tile, okay, well, we, we did that. All right. And then, of course, each survivor has to suffer one stress. So, we are at our max for about everybody. Okay. <clears throat> so, it's Rick's turn. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's draw two cards. You know, he's outside. Must discard one focus or raise threat by one. Exert one or suffer one stress. Okay, well, we're going to have to neglect that one. Okay, Dale can discard a focus. Daryl can't. So he has to raise the threat by one. And we'll play this. During activation, a survivor may discard one focus. Space discard one stress. Okay. Okay, so Rick <clears throat> is basically he's going to hide, reduce threat by one. Then if there are no enemies in your space, discard one stress. So that's what we're going to do. And then he's going to interact, do that, and we're going to place a focus on the card, and he's going to suffer one stress to do so. So he basically gets that back. Okay. Oh, and we're going to play uh, handgun training to comply. But we only have three more rounds. If I can't do it in three rounds, we're in trouble. Okay, Dale, uh, he's not going to move. We're going to raise threat by one. He's going to spend an ammo token, and he's going to kill this zombie. And I don't think he's going to do anything else. I think he's good. Although, um, he's got two stress. I can, if I can get this, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> I'm going to, well, no, that's right. He's at full. I can't do it. Okay, actually, I can't do it with really anybody. I can't risk exerting. So, I think what's going to happen is, is that's the end for, for Dale. Shane is actually just going to eat as his thing. So, he gets to do his exertion, and we give up a food. Yeah, I'll put an ammo in there. Yeah. I don't know, that's all mixed up. Okay. So I can actually try to do that now. Um but man, I'm maxed out on stress. Um but I can try to assist. If I do, I gain a trust. I'm at full trust, but if I'm successful, I can give Rick another focus. So yeah. It's worth it. Actually, I should have used the first aid kit, which I'm going to do. So let's put the food back. Okay. I'm going to use the first aid kit. And what I'm going to do with his is I'm going to hide. I'm going to reduce threat by one. And I'm going to discard one stress. And then we're going to try to um, do the coordinate. Okay, I got one success. I have to exert. But I did get one success, so what I can do, you will want to gain one focus, and I gain a trust. Uh, Rick's going to gain the focus. Okay. <clears throat> and we have to raise the threat up by one. Okay, and then Daryl. we got to get Daryl out of there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to move Daryl two spaces. One, two. And let's see here. I don't think he's going to do anything else. So that's it. Okay, so that's it for that turn. <clears throat> we, uh, it's very made discard one focus to have each other to discard one stress. Okay, we were unable to do that. So we have to go morale down by one more. Okay. And then we have to activate the walkers. They're going to go down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
and then we have a thread of one so let's put another walker on the map and right there where freaking Daryl is uh, Dale is that's terrible okay but they're not gonna activate okay <clears throat> each survivor suffers one stress well Rick suffered a stress he can't suffer anymore and we can't we don't we gotta do morale by one okay Dale can suffer one he can suffer one and Daryl can suffer one okay each survivor not on the woods tile reduces morale by one okay so we're gonna have to go down to two <laughs> we're kind of close each survivor on a woods tile places one walker in a random space so we got to put a walker there and a walker up there okay so what's gonna happen here um Okay, alright, so Rick is going to hide, and he's going to reduce threat by one, which is, oh, well, first of all, we have to do, pick our two cards, let's see, I want trust, or he could not perform move action, yeah, each survivor who's outside must discard one focus or raise threat by one, okay, we'll neglect that one, uh, We'll go ahead and raise threat by. F Dale won't have to. So we just got to raise it by three. Okay. And then during activation, there's somebody spend one trust to allow one survivor to move one space. Okay, Rick is going to play protect and serve. He's going to comply. He's going to hide. He's going to get rid of a stress. We're going to reduce threat by one. And he's going to spin that focus and put it on the objective. So that that is done. We we've done that. And then we're going to have to move off the woods tile. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. That's what he did. Daryl is going to move one two and he's gonna spend one ammo and we're gonna shoot this guy well no 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 that's right he's not gonna do that um uh, hold on it's Rick's turn Rick did that okay so Rick is done Dale's turn Dale he's got to fight okay first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna use a food and he's gonna eat and heal then He's going to have to fight. He's going to have to grapple. And uh, he has one of Rick's survivor tokens. So. Uh, I think stuff they might lose. Okay, well, <sighs> he's just going to grapple. <coughs> So he has an attack. He only has one die. That's horrible. He has two stress. He has three stress, actually. Okay, and that was bad. So he's going to have to exert. This is where we're going to lose. We got all this way. Have to raise threat up by two. And that's it. Shane is going to move one, two, Okay, and let's see here. Um, he will spend Rick Survivor token, and he's going to use shotgun. And uh, 
he can raise threat by one. <laughs> we're going to knock this clown down. And then we're going to have to do three, but we have three stress. This is horrible. Okay, so we got to raise threat by two. He has to exert one. But he was successful on one of his hits. So we're going to defeat this enemy right here. All right, and that's it for him. And then I think Daryl is going to move one, two. There's really nothing else he can do. Okay, I'm going to do Stalk, actually. Reduce threat by one and choose one survivor outside to gain one focus. We're going to reduce the threat by one. We're going to give Dale the focus. And then we can uh, we get one. Three stress. Come on, let's get a success. We did get a success. So what I can do is I can choose one survivor, discard one focus to defeat one enemy or space. Okay, Dale defeats this enemy right there by spending the focus. Okay, but we do have to raise threat by one again because we did get one. Okay, and that's that's it. So, well, we're not too bad. So the walkers are going to move. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, now we got a lot of threat. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put a gas mask walker. One regular walker, I'm sorry. There. A gas mask walker. Here. Another walker there. Another walker there. Oh, boy, this went from really close to... I don't know if we're, we're not going to win. We're going to lose this because I'm going to have to... No, yep, I'm going to have to reduce morale by two. Damn, we were so close. Because we have two survivors on the woods tile. We got unlucky with that. So, well, let's just go ahead and finish it out. Okay, let's put a zombie... Where Daryl's at. Put a gas mask one. Where Shane's at. Regular one here. Regular one here. And one more. There. Okay. Alright. So we've done that. Okay. So... <clears throat> Each survivor suffers one stress. Okay, Rick suffers. He can't. He can't. He can't. So actually, group tension, unless everybody has a trust, which we don't. So, goes down one for him. And is at zero for Shane. So we lost due to morale. Well, we were close. All we had to do is get him and him off the... Wood spaces, and we would have been good. Unfortunately, uh, I probably should have put that there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's well. We we got pretty close. We kind of lost on the technicality. Um, that's fine. All right. So next time we play The Walking Dead, we'll still be on season two. I hope you enjoyed it. This game went a lot smoother than most of the other ones. I think uh, maybe they got a little bit better on the instructions. Or the the gameplay or the component, whatever they did. But it, it went a lot better. But I think we, we could have won this one. We got to the very end. Hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you next time. Until then.